Welcome to Selco TV and Circ One Training. In this episode, I am going to talk a little bit about checking out material. To start checking out material, we need to have the CKO or check out window open, and that's really easy to do. You can see I've got my navigation bar here on the left, and I have clicked on the little plus sign next to circulation, and I then click on open CKO window. And that brings me to this easy to use checkout window. If I have already customized my horizon launcher and added the icons for checking out and checking in, as you can see I've done here, um, to my uh, toolbar, you can also just click on the CKAO icon on the top. But now that I've got my checkout window open, you can see that I've got my cursor blinking in my barcode field. And I'm going to go ahead and scan in my barcode. Now a borrower's barcode will always begin with a 1. And a item's barcode should always begin with a 0. And you can see I'm just going to check out a couple of books here. And you can see that all of these have that 0 in the front and the 1 in the beginning of my borrower barcode. If I am done here, I can go ahead and either print my receipt or email a receipt. In order for the email receipt to go through, you do need to make sure that the borrower has an email uh, address in their field, and then you can go ahead and have that sent. There is another video about that, and I'll link the that um, in the description below. So if you want to go and figure out how to do email receipts, it's easy for you to find. I am going to go ahead and close my navigation bar on the side just so I've got a little bit more room in my field here, my workspace, so I can show you what I'm looking at. So the first thing we have, of course, is the title of the book that's been checked out, its due date, barcode, where it is from. So if I was from, if I was borrowing a book from Red Wing, that would be RW, or as you can see here, these are all from Selco. The collection code here is BNF, book nonfiction. I've got my call numbers, the price for replacement. So if this item was lost, this would be the amount that the borrower would be charged. You can see that the status here is checked out. I checked it out today on June 15th, and I checked it out here at Selco. I'm logged in as a Selco user. I can then hit F11 here and that would send me um, the receipt both to my receipt printer and also email the borrower. And if you want to choose one or the other of those, again, take a look at that email receipt video for more information. If for some reason I need to uh, adjust the due date for this item, let's say that a borrower is going on vacation and this is my item, I'm, I work at Selco, my book is from Selco, I can choose to change the due date as long as it's my item and my um, borrower, basically, and it's okay with my director that I do this. So check with your local uh, supervisors before you go in and do this. So I've got my book highlighted. I'm only going to change it on one for now. I'm going to go to Edit Item. And you can see here that I can change my due date. I'm going to say that Rachel is on vacation until the 30th, it is okay with my director that I can change that due date here, so I'm going to do so. Hit save, close, and you can now see that this book is due on the 30th of July instead of the, 5th, the 13th, like the other two items are here. You can also go in and do a bulk edit, um, so you can just highlight all of them. Edit, do you wish to make a batch change? Yes. And you can see I just have a couple of things I can change here. And I am going to just make all of them so that they all are come due on the same date of July 30. I can also add what's called a check-in note. And I'm going to do that here to more book lust. Uh, what this does is when the book is checked back in later, it will alert whoever is checking in the item to keep an eye out for something. So let's say that I know that this book is damaged. I'm going to say that the, the back cover is ripped. 
and that I've already made a note. It was ripped here in the library. It was no one's fault. It was just one of those things that sometimes happens. Um, and we don't want to, we want to make sure that our borrower who is getting it checked out right now does not get charged for that later for the damage of the material. So this check-in note will basically just tell the next person who's checking in the books when they come due that um, it already had a rip on the back. And I'll just show you what that looks like. So you can see that that pops right up. Back cover is ripped. I can go ahead and hit OK if I want to leave that note there, or I can hit Clear Note if I want to clear that out, um, if I might be sending this to the bindery or um, re withdrawing it and maybe buying a new copy. Now, if I wanted to renew an item, I can do that by loading the borrower record. So I'm in my checkout window again, making sure that my icon is blinking in the barcode line. I can either scan the barcode or search for the borrower. And then I can go to all items out. And this will give me a list of all of the items that are um, checked out by this patron, by me. And you can see here that I've got one book that is coming due on the 19th of June, and I want to renew that. To do so, I'll just go up to the CKO and go to Renew. Are the items present? Um, it doesn't matter which way you go here. Pretty much this is for if like you're doing a phone renewal versus an in-person renewal. I'm going to say that the item is present because I am talking to the borrower right now and they've got their books. Um, but again, it, it shouldn't give you a different due date or anything like that. And you can see now that the due date is 6-29-16, so that's the um, end of the month here. And um, this will extend the circulation period of this item from today. So if I were to renew an item that I just checked out to myself, it will not give me an additional circulation period at the end of my due date. It will just make it from the day that you renew it. So just keep that in mind if you're working with a bunch of items and uh, working with other things. So just keep that in mind if you are renewing items for borrowers that the checkout date or the... So just keep in mind that the when you're renewing items for borrowers that it might not be as uh, far out as a due date as you might think it is. So that's just a little bit about our checkout window, or CKO window. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more episodes in this series. Mm -hmm.